All weekend long, I didn't see any of these kids crying or being harassed. They were running around and they were in everybody's stuff. They were in everybody's situation. But everybody had a smile for them. You're all amazing. Thank you so much for your time. And take a time out and give thanks for all the board that was out here that put on this show for you. Um, Vanessa down here smiling at us. Hiding in plain sight. Jeff Leahy and Susan. Randy running around. Wild man on his cart. Randy's taking care of all the little tiny pieces that we forget about all the time. We don't give that guy enough props. He puts a lot of effort out here. Love you, Randy. Love you. This is Skyler. That's it? That's all you got? One little woo. <laughs> Leo's gonna come up here and he's gonna say some good words for all of us. He's gonna come up here and he's gonna introduce Frankie and we're all finished. This is it, this is our last act. This is the last one. Thanks Frankie, thank you for coming out and ending the show for us. Oh, we got Gunter's coming up. Jeez, everybody wants to come up and talk, all right. <laughs> I love you guys, have a good night. Oh, let's not forget about Asa backstage, holding it down, keeping these these bands happy, running around. Uh, no, this is my final thank yous. So, good night, everybody. Thank you. Uh, it's big a hand for Jesse. He can do a lot, a lot more than he has done for the whole uh, organization. He's really awesome, and not just Bardafir, All year long, he's a true, uh, true brother. Hey, and a happy Thursday Day to everybody. I just love seeing all the kids out here. So, good job. Thank you. And uh, thank you all for coming. We really appreciate your, your support. And it goes for a good cause. And it's good to see the family come together again. Yeah, Gunter. Uh, yeah, it's wonderful to be a part of the Barn Affair, and uh, I want to say uh, to Jill, uh, the, the Coyote Rising Puppets, and uh, she's been an institution here for a lot of years, so, you know, ever since it started back in 2003, and uh, I started coming around about 2004, and uh, was over at Stacy's, so um, we've been doing a lot of, uh, we still continue on forest activism, and uh, we've been also working a lot with uh, actually the conservatives <clears throat> and getting back to uh, natural law and, and uh, constitutional stuff and um, working with the court systems because it's all rigged and, and uh, they got all these Ponzi games going on. A lot of us know what's, what's happening, but uh, we're so disheartened because we can't do anything about it. So uh, we're rising up uh, with the many of the tribes all over the, all over the world and uh, coming together and uh, our common theme is our common welfare and unity so and right now we we have a, a new threat going on uh, right here just about three miles away from here right in the heart of the uh, east west junction river basin um, with the east west junction uh, timber sale harvest so we're going to have a rally over there i have information down here uh, on that and uh, we're going to put a stop to blm and cascade lumber and uh, that's for certain because i know a lot of you that have come out in the past and will be coming out and helping to support us so um that's a given but uh we do need to get to clean your support to be out there so i'll be uh, one-on-one -on -one with a lot of you and those of you that want to help and be a participant. Uh, we're going to bring up the uh, Healthy Forest Initiative. This time we're we're going to be hosting the forums, not BLM or the Forest Service, and we're going to tell them what we want. They're not going to tell us how they are going to manage our forests. And uh, <clears throat> things are coming down to localities you know we don't need the federal government to tell us how to manage our forest we have a lot of wonderful people around here that know the forest by heart especially our native americans and uh, it's time we change the coin throw the coin out and uh, start cultivating 
our own natural abilities to self-govern, to be able to be our own tribe and to uh, command our federal government and our local governments to serve us. We're, we are not part of their system because they are not doing their job. So anyway, uh, I want to wish you all, uh, may all beings, I want to do a, um, a Buddhist prayer. This is a very common Tibetan prayer. Uh, may all beings have happiness and the cause for happiness. May all be free of sorrow and the cause of sorrow. May all never be kept from the sacred happiness which is sorrowless. And may all live in equanimity without too much attachment or aversion and live believing in the equality of all that is. May God keep you and bless you and thank you to Grandma Aggie. Her spirit is here and amongst with all of you. Her path is narrowing. You know, she, she's going to be 92 in a couple of months. So uh, I want you to all to remember her in your prayers and her mission and uh, all of the native tribes that are working to come together and uh, bring us uh, you got to get grandma's book too uh, wake up world it's called so let us help each other to wake not only each other up but also our families and friends and uh, let that let that energy and that prayer reverberate out and uh, get this work done and then maybe we can we can go on with our business but we have to take care first of our planet of our localities of our forests and ecosystems may god bless you and keep you until then all right well i want to personally thank each and every one of you for coming here I thank you for taking the time to talk to me as I walked around Barter for, for the past four or five days. Thank you for coming over to Sacred Site. Thank you to Jesse and the family for allowing my little family, Waves and myself, to come over there. And we want to thank Adam and Adam's family at Kirbyville Farm. We want to thank all the skilled hands that helped put together Sacred Space. Thank you so much. It's been a blessing to be here with you every year. And I hope to see you here next year. Maybe some of you will volunteer and take us up on that offer. It's a joy to help and be part of something bigger, which is basically a much bigger tribe than you ever envisioned in your heart. The big full moon is gonna come out and grace us with a big area here to dance. And I can't think of a finer person to dance to than Frankie. Takilma FM has known him for a little while now, and we want to bless him up so big. He's been opening for some pretty big names, and we think he's going to be the next rising star. And I'd see somebody over there I know named Cricket. I don't know. But, uh, hi, Cricket. Hi. Oh, my gosh. I got hugged by Cricket. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let you go look at this beautiful sunset. And have a beautiful evening, and I'm sure everybody will say goodnight eventually. But we'll see you soon, and we love you so much. Take care of each other on your way home. Happy Father's Day, Happy Mother's Day, and all that other good jazz. And uh, blessings to each and every one of you on whatever path you take, from my heart to yours. Hope Mountain Radio blesses you, and we want to thank GW. And he thanks you, too, for coming around and stopping by. Have a great evening.